It's another beautiful day. You are on tomorrow's and etiquette segment. I am Saidat Sododo. But today I'm going to be talking about airplane etiquette, which is simply common courtesy. Using airplane etiquette will go a long way when you are in the air. Also, appreciate good manners when you are on a crowded flight. To make your flight as smooth as possible for both yourself and others, practice this airplane etiquette I have for you as I go on this break. When I come back, we will talk more. Traveling can often sour what should be a pleasant holiday or business ventures. There are airplane etiquette you can do and shouldn't do to make flying better. Be patient with everyone who is boarding the plane. You will run into mothers with small children, elderly people and so many others that could use your help and patience. It is always nice to offer a helping hand to them. Be kind to the flight attenders or cabin crew as they are called. Didn't create rules about showing tray tables, wearing seat belts and restoring seat backs before landing. Giving them a hard time can delay your takeoff. Use your pleases and thank you with the flight attendants and those around you. It is simply good travel etiquette to thank those who are providing you with a service. Think about how you choose to sleep in the plane. You may want to invest in a neck pillow to avoid winding up, snoozing on your neighbor's shoulder or bring a traveling pillow or head restraint and try to avoid using the inflammable ones. If you are in a middle or SO set, avoid using the tray table as a headrest so your neighbor can get through without waking you up. Parents, you may be exhausted but children are your number one priority. For passengers with complaints, talk to the parents, don't scold the kid. It's not your place to correct the behavior of a stranger's child. Get up early at convenient times. Think ahead when planning your bathroom breaks. If you see a flight attendant with a cart in the hustle, stay put till it's free to pass. If you need to get up, don't show past the person you are sitting next to. Politely ask them if you can get out and then wait for them to stand up. Respect the lavatory. Don't take a lot of time and don't make a mess of the lavatory. It is for your own health. Don't make anyone have to talk to you. Many people just want to endure the flight in silence, but will most likely be polite to ignore you. Don't hug the overbeam. Don't take up someone else's space by putting your bag in the bin horizontally. If you have to carry on bags, keep the smaller one at your feet. Consider your other. Keep in mind that heavenly strong cologne or perfume can be unpleasant, so consider people around you. And if you are picking up food before your flight, stick to something that doesn't emit too much of a scent. Remember, that even if you wear headphones to entertain yourself while you listen to loud music, your direct neighbor can hear it and will likely be less than pleased about it. Turn your music player to a more moderate level for the flight. Most importantly, follow the pilot's and flight attendant's instructions. Turn off your cell phone and all other electronics when asked however. Never choose an exit row set if you will have an infant or small child with you. Either you taking local or international flights. Endure to practice this airplane etiquette so the journey will be painless and comfortable as possible. Welcome back. That was a package on airplane etiquette. But before I round up today, I have some information I really want to talk about. And there's a comment and a question that pops up many people's mind that is, 
Why can't I use cell phone on a plane or why is it bad to use cell phone on a plane? Well, it is possible that phone can emit radio signal that can interfere with aircraft communication, flight controlling, also other electronics. This has to do with what the public believe is true or proven science. The RTCA, that is the Radio Technical Commissions for Aeronautics, have been examining the electromagnetic interference since 2003. And they acknowledge use of abandoned electronics below 10,000 feet is useless. Many countries abandon use of cell devices on plane, so use of advanced technology has been lifted. Text, email, also to send and receive call was allowed in 2008. When you use cell phone on plane, it means you are thousands of feet above cell towers. Moving around 500 miles per hour when you are on the ground, your phone doesn't work very well to make a call but in the air, phone and network get confused. There is many cell towers available when traveling in high speed so it increases possibilities of interfering plane's equipment. New technology uses a pico cell. That is the information I want to pass to you. A pico cell. A pico cell acts like many cell towers on board and this allows electronics on the plane and cell towers on the ground to interact normally. So you don't need to put your phone on airplane mode if a pico cell is available on the plane. But if the pilots or flight attendants tell you to put your phone on airplane mode or switch it off, please endeavor to do so. So as I round off today, I want you to follow this airplane etiquette I have for you because it will make your flight bearable and flying will be better for you once you follow the do's and the don'ts guidelines. This is where I usually say, stay nice, stay polite, stay positive and take life, JJ. I still remain side at Sudodo. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank mm -hmm. you.